Welcome to your coverage of Missoula Sports Heroes. You're tuned in to the Missoula Prep Sports Network live stream of local sports. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. This presentation of Missoula Sports is proudly powered by Fuel Fitness, the only gym from Montana for Montana. Check it out. MPSN is your leader in Missoula's prep sports. Woo! We now take you to the action on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Everybody hustles out there, okay, guys? Nobody quits. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Century Field in Great Falls, Montana. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we have the Missoula Mavericks and the Great Falls Chargers. Game one of a three-game stand, one game tonight, and then a doubleheader tomorrow from Century Field. Let's meet our starting lineups for today's game. The Missoula Mavericks is the away team, so it'll be Brendan Hill leading off in center field. Dane Frazier is the right fielder, batting second. Batting third is the shortstop, Terad Richardson. Bridger Johnson in left field, bats fourth. Batting fifth is Stuart Long, the designated hitter. Drew Stenzer is at third base, batting sixth. Batting seventh is Andrew Claussen, the catcher. Zach Hangus holding down first base, batting eighth. And batting ninth is the second baseman, Dayton Bay. It's Dylan Chalmers on the five, Valiato pitcher's mound for the Mavericks. Cal Cromwell will lead things off for the Chargers. He's at the shortstop position. Derek Springs, the second baseman, bats second. Batting third is... Andrew Paradise, the right fielder, as Hill comes to the plate to start our game. Josh Lowry in center field, batting fourth. Batting fifth is Travis Stouter, the third baseman. Tyler Marr is the first baseman, batting sixth. Batting seventh is Braden Hurst, the pitcher. Keaton Clark, the catcher, bats eighth, and Logan Houston in left field. It is Braden Hurst on the five value pitcher's mound, and the first pitch will come in for ball one. First pitch is at 7 p.m. We have a game time temp of 88 degrees. Here's pitch number two, and this one's fouled up and away. To bring up strike one, one and one to Brennan Hill the center fielder for the Mavericks. Hurst with the pitch, comes in low for ball one. Tried to track down our officials before the game, but I was told that there was no clue. Here's the pitch by Hurst, and this one's popped out into right field and Brennan Hill will get on for the Mavericks to start the game. Takes us to Dane Frazier with one on and no outs. <clears throat> Mavericks coming off of a sweep of the Billings Scarlets and then a tough loss to Helena on Wednesday night. Picking up their second loss of the season. Here's Frazier with a pop just over the fringe in first, and that's one away. So with one out, one on, we come to Trad Richardson for the Mavericks. So Richardson stepping in. Go to first, trying to hold Hill there. It's a good idea as Hill, I've dubbed him the Flash. He is very speedy. Back to first. So the Mavericks sitting on top in the double A Montana Alberta Legion baseball with a 12 and two record after Wednesday night. The Bozeman Bucks 14 and five in number two. Great Falls Chargers are in the number eight spot. They're four and 11 as this one is popped out into right field. The second baseman says he's got it as it's shallow and that is two away. Derek Spring at second getting some work done over there. So the Elks are in third, 10 and six. Lakers 10 and nine in the four spot. Helena Senators, eight and nine, moving up after their win against the Mavericks. The Royals, seven and nine. 
Scarlet's 8 and 12, Chargers 4 and 11, and then the Moose Monarchs 4 and 14. Hill is going to go, pitches a strike, Hill gets in, and we got a stolen base, strike one to Bridger Johnson. And time is called as the umpire is going to come out and play something down on the behind the rubber. And Hurst will get ready. Here's Hurst with the stretch and set. And an inside pitch will bring up ball one. One and one on the count. Just received word that our voice of summer, Paul Yarbrough, is enjoying some Durango's takeout and watching in hashtag our town is superior. I want to say hello to all of our parents and fans that are watching as this one's across the elbow on Johnson to bring up ball two, two and one on the count. Had the standings up there, so I apologize. I did not update the scoreboard. Here's the two one and this one is off the toe. Good job by Clark to keep it in front of him, and we get ball three, three, and one. So the Mavericks holding on to the top spot, even though they had their second loss of the conference play against Helena. So two, a game today, two games tomorrow. First pitch from Century Field is at 1 o'clock, as this one's going to be bounced out. Shortstop with a good play on it. The throw to first is ahead of Johnson, and that is out number three. So the Mavericks load one on, but he's left behind. Stays goose eggs on the scoreboard. We'll be back with the portion, the Great Falls portion of the first right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Fast Trip Conoco and Magic Touch Car Wash are at it again. They've taken what was already the best wash in town, the best value in town, and made it even better. Now, whenever you gas up your rig at Fast Trip Conoco, you can clean it up for half price. Yeah, you heard that right. When you fuel up your car at Fast Trip Conoco, you can get any wash at Magic Touch Car Wash for half price. Warning, warning, this is not a drill. It's the Gas It Up, Clean It Up special at Fast Trip Conoco and Magic Touch Car Wash on reserve across from Largemont. Half price wash only valid when purchased at the pump or in Fast Trip Conoco. Stitches of Missoula is your resource for embroidery and screen printing. Give Stitches a call today at 406-529-2632 to speak with their super friendly staff and have them take care of your embroidery needs. From business logos to team jerseys, Stitches Embroidery can help you and your team look good. Check them out online at stitchesmontana.com to see their full line of silk screen and embroidery options. Stitches is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Welcome back to MPS and Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Bottom of the first inning, scoreless. Missoula Mavericks taking on the Great Falls Chargers. Conference games from here on out until the 22nd for the Mavericks. There is one non-conference game at the end of this regular season, the 24th of June against the Helena Senators. That'll be a nine-inning affair. For the Chargers, Cal Cromwell, the shortstop to lead off. Derek Spring, the second baseman on deck, and Andrew Paradise, the right fielder, in the hole. Here is Dylan Chalmers. Chalmers' first pitch over the plate for strike one. So Dilly Dilly on the five Valley Auto pitcher's mound for the Mavericks. Game one of three as this one's bounced out. Richardson attacks the throw. Hengus sticks the bag, and it's two pitches, one out to start the inning. Brings up Derek Spring for the Chargers. Chalmers delivers over the plate for strike one. 0-1 on the count. Second pitch is just outside. Evens the count at one apiece. A swing, this one's bounced out. 
Bay will let it come to him. The throw to first is just ahead of the runner. And the ground out to second will bring out out number two. So we go to Andrew Paradise, the right fielder for the Chargers. Paradise, he's been fun to watch over the last three years as this one's fouled off for strike one. He's a familiar face with Great Falls Sports. Here's the 0-1 and this one's off of Claussen's knee. Takes us even on the count. Two outs, nobody on, bottom of the first. Josh Lowry in the on-deck circle. Chalmers has this one popped into right field. Frazier in the glove and that ends the side. One, two, three for the Chargers. Top of the second right after this on the Missoula Cup Sports Network. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Montana owned and Montana proud. Your $29 a month Montana Mega Gym. Fuel has premier facilities with the latest equipment. Nutrition superstores, high energy classes, refreshing smoothie bars, attentive child care, expert trainers, and we never close. Best of all, you have access to six locations statewide for just $29 a month. That's less than a dollar a day. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Go to clubfuelfitness.com right now to find a Montana location near you. The Missoula Prep Sports Network is Missoula's home for high school sports, and we need your help. MPSN is looking for local businesses to help us cover our local high school athletes by advertising their business on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. If you know of a business that would be interested in helping the Missoula Prep Sports Network in our coverage of high school sports in the Missoula area, drop us a line by using the Contact Us link at mpsn406.com. MPSN, Missoula's home for Missoula's Prep Sports Heroes. Welcome back to MPS and Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Top of the second inning here at Century Field. Great Falls Chargers hosting the Missoula Mavericks. Game one of a three-game stand between the two teams, conference games. And at the top of the second, we go to the five, six, seven batters for the Mavericks. Stuart Long to lead off. Drew Stensrud is on deck and Andrew Clausen in the hole. It's Braden Hurst on the five Valley Auto Pitchers mound, folks. It is hard to believe that we are just two weeks away from the state tournament, three weeks from the Northwest Regional. Summer has flown by and it's been a fun one. Here's the first pitch of the inning and it'll hop in front of the plate for ball one. Hurst with the pitch. And Long will hold off, brings up strike one, one and one on the count. Stewart in the designated hitter position tonight. He hung out in left field on Wednesday night. As this one comes across the knee, four ball two, two and one. And as you know, with Legion Baseball, it's always an ongoing situation where guys are going to fit in best as this one's off the grip. Third baseman will pick it up on the fringe. A touch to first, and we've got one away on the ground ball. Brings up Drew Stensrud. Stensrud settling in. He's one of those prospects that came up from the A squad that has been a great fit on both sides of the ball. His hitting has been right in there as this one comes in for ball one. But his play on the field as well, his infield defense has strengthened with every pitch made. As this one will hop. For ball two. Solid at both, both third and first. Here's the pitch by Hurst. Stenzer thought about it, but it'll build to 3-0. 
Century Field. The Chargers sharing with the Great Falls George Chargers, or I mean Voyagers, as Stensrud is walked. It's a runner on for the Mavericks for Andrew Claussen with one out. So Claussen settles in. Here's the stretch and set by Hurst. Across the knees for ball one. Andrew Clausen, some big shoes to fill at that catcher's position, and he has worked hard with every game. Pitch over the plate, brings up strike one, one and one on the count. Everybody talks about the pitcher, but in my book, the catcher He's got a lot and have a lot of respect for him as the throw to first is made to keep Stensrud dead back. Here's the stretch and set by Hurst. And a swing will bring up strike two. pitch. Claussen fouls it off and we stay at one and two. <clears throat> Zach Hengus in the on deck circle. Saw that Zach's dad made the trip over. Said hello to Mr. Hengus. Check to first. Stensrud with the step. And Claussen will take one to the backside. And the Mavericks will have runners at first and second with one out as Zach Hengus comes to the plate. Hengus looks down the third baseline. Hurst with the stretch and set. Runners at first and second, one out. Here's the pitch and a foul ball will bring up strike one. Bottom of the order in the on deck circle. Hurst now with the stretch and set. And it's over the plate. Brings up strike two, 0 oh and two to Hango. Hangus is a fun guy. Probably one of the most easygoing guys. He was pitching the other night against the Scarlets and had a ball come off the bat as Hurst will step off the rubber, forcing the runners back. Here's the pitch. Upstairs. Ball one. I saw Hangus's golf coach after the game. I said, oh, Coach, are you checking out your golfer? He says, yeah, we have to make sure he's all right after taking that one off the bat into the rear end. But he seems okay. Here's the one and two. And we'll have ball two. Second baseman, Derek Spring checking in. Spring, one of the leaders here for the Chargers. Here's a stretch and set by Hurst. And Hengus with a pop into left field. It's got some leg. Left fielder will backpedal. It is in the glove. Runners will hold, and that's two away. Two down as we come to the bottom of the order. Dayton Bay for the Mavericks. Runners at first and second. Uh, 
Bay settles in. Here's the pitch. And this one's down the first baseline. It's going to be out of play off the fence in front of the bullpen down the first baseline. And the foul ball will bring up strike one to Dayton Bay. Dayton Bay being one of those upcoming youth superheroes here in Missoula, or in Missoula, not here, I'm in Great Falls, but for Missoula, this one's bunted down the third baseline. Bay will make the, now he will reach as the third baseman. Stouter is not able to pick it up and they'll call that one a hit. So we come to the top of the order for the Mavericks with loaded bases and two outs. It's Brendan Hill. Pitch in the dirt and they're gonna hold up the runner. Ball one for Hill. For Brendan, his first at bat, it was a single. Over the second baseman's head, he's looking for that same placement. Pretty big gap between the first and second baseman. Hill, an intelligent athlete, might calculate that. Second baseman is making a move to shorten that gap up, and we get a pitch upstairs for ball two, 2-0 two oh for Hill. Bay at first, Claussen at second, and Drew Stensrud for the Mavericks. Two outs on the board. Here's Hurst with the pitch to Hill, and Hill will take it to build the th ball three, three and oh. Here's a stretch and set by Hurst. And Hill will take it for strike one, three and one to the center fielder. Here's the pitch, and it's a walk to bring a runner home for the Mavericks, and it's one nothing on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. Mavericks with loaded bases and two outs. We come to Dane Frazier, and that's gonna bring out the pitching coach for Great Falls to check in with his pitcher. It's getting nice, folks. It's the weekend. Maybe you're going to be heading out and enjoying the woods or the outdoors, the lake. Maybe you're going to go camping. Well, stop in and see our friends over at Fast Trip Conoco as they're your one-stop shop convenience store. They've got the most convenient gas pumps, the largest selection of cold drinks, and by the way, looking for some ice, they've got the biggest cooler in town. Fast Trip Conoco and Magic Touch Car Wash located conveniently in the parking lot. Our proud sponsors of high school sports, Magic Touch Car Wash and Fast Trip Conoco, located on South Avenue across from Larchmont's Golf Course. Dane Frazier steps in with loaded bases and two outs. Hurst now with the pitch, and it's upstairs, ball one to Frazier. Hathaway walks towards the dugout to speak to his players. Hathaway, the manager for the Mavericks, 29 seasons with the club as Frazier will take ball two. Hill at first, Bay at second, and Claussen at third. Here's the pitch, and Frazier lays off for ball three, three and oh. Dane leads the Mavericks in the home run club. There's three members, the top three batters in the order for the Mavericks. Dane Frazier leading with three. Trad Richardson on deck, he's got two. As the 3-0 pitch results in strike one, three and one. And then Brendan Hill at first with an in the park home run. Here's the 
Here's Hurst with a 3-1. And Frazier cranks this one high into center field. Center fielder will walk up on it. Lowry puts it in the glove, and that will leave three runners behind, but not before the Mavericks score a run off the walk. Chargers get to bat right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. If you're looking to upgrade your car, stop by Five Valley Auto Sales. From the moment you walk through the door, you'll be in for the best car buying experience ever. From their large inventory to their experienced staff, Five Valley Auto Sales is committed to helping you find the right car for you. View their featured vehicles online at www.5valleyautosales.com or stop by their location at 3300 South Reserve Street in Missoula. Five Valley Auto Sales is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on MPSN. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is Missoula's one-stop shop for all your hockey and lacrosse needs. Check this out. It may be warm outside, but you can still take care of your hockey fix in their one-third sized indoor rink. Really? Wow, crazy. Stop in to 1010 North Avenue West and see what they have in store for your hockey needs. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is a proud sponsor of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Welcome back to MPSN as we drop to the bottom of the second inning. Missoula Mavericks leading the Great Falls Chargers 1-0 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. The man that ended the bottom or top of the second will lead off for the Chargers, Josh Lowry. Travis Stouter is on deck and Tyler Marr in the hole. So 4-5-6 in the order. Dylan Chalmers stands on the five Valley Auto Pitchers mound. And this one's rolled right out to Bay. He'll have it in the dirt. The throw to first and one away off of one pitch. Takes us to Travis Stouter. Here's the pitch by Chalmers. And Stouter will take it for ball one. So looking at Dylan Chalmers, as he'll slide one over the plate for strike one, one and one on the count. Chalmers seemingly the ace for the Mavericks. As this one's hit, Bay dives on it but can't get to it and Paradise, I mean uh, Stouter will be the first runner on for The Chargers. So we come to Tyler Marr. For the Chargers with one on. And one out. Throw to first. To hold the runner. Looking at Chalmers, 10 and 0. In the win-loss, 3.11 ERA, 18 games, 13 started, 75 and a third innings as this one will come in for ball one. 45 runs off of 75 hits, 26 of those earned. As this one's cranked in the center field, Hill with a little bit of a back pedal. And he'll put it in the glove to give us out number two. We go to Tyler Marr. And I got by one here. So Braden Hurst with two outs and one on. He'll take the first pitch and foul it off for strike one. But to continue to look at Chalmers. He's allowed one home run, walked 18, struck out 63, and has hit six batters. As we bring up a ball pitch 
to make it one and one to Hurst. Keaton Clark in the on-deck circle with two outs and a runner at first for the Chargers. This one's going to be fouled off. And we'll go one and two on the count. So the Mavericks with one game tonight, a double header tomorrow, first pitch at one. Last home games of the season, Monday and Tuesday, a three-game stand with the Moose Monarchs. Here's the throw to first, and that one was close to the pickoff. Chalmers and Hango on the connection, and that one almost got him. Here's the one and two. Runner's going to go in a swing. Down the line to first. Hangus on the bag, and that will end the inning. The Chargers get one on, but he's left behind. Mavericks lead 1-0 on the Fast Trip Conical scoreboard. We'll be back with the top of the third right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Do you have a property you'd like to sell? Maybe you're looking for a new place to call your own. Well, you're in luck because the Kelly Touch is the local realtor for you. Whether small or large, the Kelly Touch would love to help you find your piece of Montana to call home. From Kalispell to Florence, the Kelly Touch has the experience to help you buy or sell property throughout western Montana. The Kelly Touch, your professional real estate needs met. The Kelly Touch is a proud sponsor of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Hello, folks. Chris Stratton here. You know me as the voice of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. I'm here to announce that the Milk Crate Media will be launching their newest project, the Chris Stratton Show Podcast. That's right, folks. We're going to take our play-by-play -play coverage and bring it into the studio to give our student athletes in Missoula a voice to tell their stories. It'll be launching on July 15th on the Milk Crate Media Network, and you'll be able to find it at thechrisstrattonshow.com, as well as any of your outlets for podcasts. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Top of the third inning. Mavericks lead 1-0 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Great Falls Chargers and Mavericks at Century Field in Great Falls. Game one of three. Two tomorrow. First pitch at one. And then second game scheduled for three o'clock. But you know how Legion baseball goes. 20 minutes after this, after the first game finishes up is usually the standard operating procedure. So for the Mavericks, it is the three, four, five batters on the third. Trad Richardson to lead off, Richard Johnson on deck, and Stuart Long in the hole. So Richardson to settle in. And the bottom, or the top of the third. Here's Braden Hurst from the five Valley Auto Pitchers mound, and he'll deliver upstairs for ball one. Now, before the ending, inning ended, we were going over the schedule. So the Mavericks will have their last three home games coming up on Monday and Tuesday as Hurst will deliver low for ball two. Monday's game is 5 p.m., double header and then Tuesday will be at 1 p.m. as this one's fouled off for strike one to Richardson two and one for the leadoff batter on the inning and then it's actually take that back we've got the Bozeman Bucks on Wednesday night as well so Wednesday night will be the final home game of the 2019 season for the Mavericks as we deliver ball three, three and one. I keep forgetting about that Bozeman Bucks game on Wednesday night, and that's probably one of the most important conference games as this one's gonna roll through the glove of Cromwell and Richardson will round first and head back. And they will credit that in error to the Chargers. We come to Bridger Johnson for the Mavericks. Runner at first, and nobody on. Johnson showing bunt, he'll pull it back. Throw to first and Richardson dives back just in time. 
ball one on the count. Mavericks earning a run in the top of the second off a loaded bases walk. And I say that Bozeman Bucks game, I mean every game, and you talk to Hathaway, every game is important, but right now, the Bucks and the Mavericks at the top of Double A Legion Baseball, splitting their matchups on the season so far. As Johnson will bunt this one down the first baseline, it's a charge to the first baseman and up to the second baseman. And the sack bunt does its job as Richardson is moved to second with one out. Brings us to Stuart Long for the Mavericks with one out and a runner at second. Braden Hurst on the five validator pitcher's mound. 48 pitches in. As this one's fouled off, we'll say 49 pitches. 23 of those have been over the plate. the stretch and set by Hurst. And Long will take a slice for strike two, 0 and 2 to Stuart Long. Long with a ground out, his first at bat. One out, one on. Stensrud in the on deck circle. Pitch upstairs. Brings up ball one, one and two to the designated hitter. So a total of four home games in three days for the Mavericks. Double header with Medicine Hat as this one swung on and Long is struck out swinging for the second out. Brings up Drew Stensrud for the Mavericks. Richardson at second. Smartly hit ball could put Richardson home for the Mavericks. Here's the pitch by Hurst. And Stensrud will lay off for ball one. Stens with a walk, his first at bat. Andrew Claussen in the on deck circle. Two outs. Runner at second. And Hurst will step off the rubber. Here's the stretch and set by Hurst. And Stensrud will hit this one shortstop with a shot. The throw to first is off the tag. We'll get the runner and that will end the inning. So Richardson makes it, but is left behind and it stays 1-0 on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. Chargers, portion of the third right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Have you recently found yourself in a situation where you need a lawyer? Give our friends at Tip Coburn & Associates a call today. They have been practicing injury, employment, and criminal defense in addition to other areas of law for the past 55 years. Give Tip Coburn & Associates a call today at 406-549-5186 or stop by their website at www.tipcoburnandassociates.com. Tip Coburn & Associates, lawyers fighting for Montana since 1959 and proud sponsors of Missoula Prep Sports on MPSN. Did your computer go down? Don't worry. Mike's Print and Copy has computer rentals available until you can get your computer replaced. In addition to computer rentals, Mike's has self-serve copiers so you can take care of your printing needs at your time. Do you have large-scale printing that needs to be done? From high-tech blueprints to large quantities, Mike's Print and Copy is your print store. Stop in and say hi to Mike at their new location at 1605 South Avenue West in Missoula. Mike's Print and Copy, proud sponsors of the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Welcome back to MPS and Chris Stratton at Century Field in Great Falls, Montana for the 
Missoula Mavericks taking on the Great Falls Chargers. For the Chargers, it is the bottom of the order, eight, nine batters. Keaton Clark to lead off. Logan Houston in the on-deck circle. Dylan Chalmers on the five Valley Auto Pitchers mount. As Chalmers will have the first pitch of the inning. Over the plate. Strike one. So Chalmers, 16 pitches coming into the inning, 13 of them over the plate, or 12 of them over the plate, I should say, as a swing. will bring up strike two, zero oh and two. Here's a foul ball to keep Clark alive. Here's the pitch. And we'll have a ball one. We went to Rapid with the Mavericks as this one swung on, dropped third strike and the runner is going to fall down on the run. And a quick out on the drop third strike. One away. Bottom of the third. We go to Logan Houston, bottom of the order for the Chargers. One out, nobody on. We got to meet one of Dylan's younger brothers as this one's foul back. Four strike one. Just like his older brother, very athletic and articulate, intelligent young man. As this one swung on for strike two. Oh and two. Chalmers will have ball one to Houston. Top of the order in the on-deck circle with one out for the Chargers, Cal Cromwell. And a swing. This one's dropped as well. And Claussen's not going to be able to get to it. The runner's going to reach. So we'll have a runner at first. One out. As the top of the order, Cal Cromwell comes to the plate for the Chargers. Here's the pitch. Inside, ball one. The stretch and set. have ball two to Cromwell. For Cromwell, it was a ground out, his first at bat. And we'll have ball three. Don't have a don't have the umpires. It's a walk to put runners at first and second now for the Chargers here in the bottom of the third. Richardson comes out as well as Claussen to check in with Chalmers. Starting to get a little bit of breeze up here in the press box. It was very warm when they opened it up here today. Sun baking in on the backside. So Derek Spring at the plate for the Chargers. One out, runners at first and second. Here's the stretch and set by Chalmers. Swung on, strike one. For Spring, it was a ground out, his first at bat. Upstairs. Ball one, one and one. Runner at first is Cal Cromwell. Logan Houston is at second. There's one out on the board. And a pitch over the plate. Brings up strike two, one and two on the count.
Here's Chalmers. And a reaching swing will strike out the batter. Dilly dilly for the second out of the inning. Takes us to Andrew Paradise for the Chargers with runners at first and second and two outs. Bottom of the third. Mavericks lead 1-0 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Here's a swing by Paradise for strike one. Paradise, a flyout to end the first inning for the Chargers. As just off the plate brings up ball one, one and one on the count. A bouncer foul takes us to strike two. One and two. So the Mavericks are on the road next weekend. A Saturday, Sunday, Monday trip to Lethbridge. And the Monday game will end the conference season. As this one's just over the head of Richardson. They're going to bring the runner around. Here's a throw in and it will not be on target. The Chargers tie it up at one apiece off the shot into left field. So we come to Josh Lowry with two outs. Runners at first and second. Tie game at one. <clears throat> Dylan Chalmers from the five Valley Outer Pitcher's Mound. And this one's into right field. Frazier's got to back up on it, search it for it in the sun, puts it in the glove, and that will end the inning. One run scored, two left behind, and it's tied at one on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Top of the fourth, right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Coming this summer, Milk Crate Media 406 will be the home to a new group of local podcasts to highlight our great state of Montana and the people within it starting with a local show to promote Missoula sports athletes. Next, a podcast that will take a look at world views. Then a show that will entertain you while informing you about Montana's great outdoors. And finally, a podcast that will take a look at the people and places that make Montana great. Stop by mcratemedia.com to see the full line of new podcasts. When your workout window is small, you don't want to travel far. Wait for parking and hope for an open machine. Let Fuel Fitness and Nutrition ignite your life with no waiting. Fuel has plentiful parking and 30,000 square feet of weight and cardio training equipment. When you want it, you'll get it at Fuel. Businesses don't hesitate to sign up with Fuel. We have enough parking and equipment to handle your entire staff and 24-7 access so they can get in shape around work schedules. Ignite your life with no waiting at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition in the Holiday Village Shopping Center. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Mavericks, or for the Missoula Prep Sports Network. The Missoula Mavericks tied up with the Great Falls Chargers at one apiece. Top of the fourth inning takes us to the 7-8-9 batters. Andrew Clausen to lead off. Zach Hengis on deck and Dayton Bay in the hole. So tied at one on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. Top of four in a seven inning game. Two tomorrow, first pitch at one from here at Century Field. Here's Braden Hurst with the first pitch from the Five Valley Pitcher's Mound. This one's popped foul down the first baseline. It'll be on the dugout, and we'll have strike one. Tyler Marr, the first baseman, trying to make a play on it over there, but that one popped right on top of the dugout. Here's Hurst with the pitch. And he'll be outside even at one apiece. For Clausen, he was hit by a pitch his first at bat. He'll take the pitch for ball two.
Bossa and patient. Brings up strike two, two and two on the count. Pitch by Hurst. Check swing. And will be at a full count. Three and two. Here's Hurst on the payoff pitch, and it's going to tag Clausen. So Clausen with hit by pitches on back to back at bats. And the Mavericks will have a runner at first with Zach Hangus coming to the plate. One on, no outs, top of four for the Mavericks. Tied at one on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Each team with two hits. And Hango will have the bunt. It's laid down nicely. The first baseman will have the tag and the sack bunt will move the runner. And it puts one out on the board. Bottom of the order, Dayton Bay for the Mavericks. Claussen steps away from second. Braden Hurst now with the stretch and set on the five Valley Auto Pitchers men. And he'll deliver over the plate just for strike one. To Bay. For Dayton Bay, it was a bunt on a reach. A reach on a bunt. His first at bat. Here's the pitch. And Bay will hold off. Evens a count out at one apiece. Hurst now with the stretch and set. And Bay will bounce this one to the first baseman. Picked up by the pitcher and Bay slides in for the second out. Sacrifice bunt though. Puts Clausen at third with two outs, top of the order. Brendan Hill, the flash for the Mavericks. And I've dubbed him the flash. He is one of the speediest guys I've seen for the Mavericks since I've started. And yes, I do believe he's faster than Nick Jovetic as we get a foul ball for strike one down the third base line. Oh one to Hill. A single and a walk for the center fielder as he'll take a swing for strike two. Looking down the third baseline to get the signal from Coach Hathaway. Hands on his hips, so Hill steps in. Here's Hurst with the pitch. And Hill, this one's down the first baseline. It looks like it's going to be just out of play. It looked like it was fair. And the foul ball will keep us at 0-2. So Hill settles back in, 0-1-2, two, two outs. Andrew Claussen at third, top of the fourth inning, tied at one. Here's the pitch. And Hill will let it go for ball one, one and two. But looking at Hill, as he'll take ball two. For Hill this season, he's got 
156 at bats coming into this game. 27 runs off of 35 hits, 27 RBIs. Here's the two and two, and we'll build to a full count at three and two. Here's a stretch and set by Hurst. And it's a walk to put runners on the corners for the Mavericks. Two outs. Brings up Dane Frazier for the Mavericks. So with Dane Frazier at the plate, runners on the corners, and two outs. Hathaway with his hands on his hips, no signal. I was going to say Hill might go here, but there's no signal to the players. Now Hathaway will signal after Frazier steps in. So we'll see if Hill gets the jump. And an inside pitch will bring up ball one. As the bugs start to come out. 1 0. Hill at first, Claussen at third, two outs. Here's the pitch to Frazier, and he'll foul it off. 1 and 1. Hill steps away from first. Hurst will have the stretch and set. And this one's popped down the first baseline. Out of play into the bullpen. And we'll have strike two, one and two to Frazier. For Dane Frazier, he has a pair of flyouts on the game. Gorgeous day here in Great Falls. A few puffy clouds. Gorgeous blue skies. It was a beautiful drive over. Everything's still green in July. Loving it. Here's Hill on the run. This one's going to be bounced out past the second baseman. Clausen will score. Hill around second on his way to third, and Hathaway will hold him up. The Mavericks score a run to make it two to one on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. We come to Trad Richardson for the Mavericks with two outs. I don't have any numbers down the first or third base line here at Century Field, but to the big black wall you see out there in center field, it's 415, and it looks like there's a bit of a hole. If you could hit something out there as this comes in for strike one to Richardson. But if you could knock something out into that center field at 415 you'd be in business for it and in the park home run just like Hill here's Richardson he's got a floater into left this one's got lots of air and leg the left fielder's back puts it in the glove in the warning track and that will end the inning the Mavericks score a run to make it two to one on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard we'll be back with the bottom of the fourth right after this on the Missoula Cup Sports Network some changes in life are too painful to go through alone, and Cunningham Law can help in making difficult decisions from divorce to child custody. Kyle Cunningham focuses solely on family law. Cunningham Law will help you land on your feet when big changes come to your family and life. Visit www.familylawmontana.com or give Kyle a call at 406-203-4678 today. Cunningham Law Services. You don't have to go through this alone. Cunningham Law is a proud sponsor of the Northwest Regional Tournament. 
If you're looking to upgrade your car, stop by Five Valley Auto Sales. From the moment you walk through the door, you'll be in for the best car buying experience ever. From their large inventory to their experienced staff, Five Valley Auto Sales is committed to helping you find the right car for you. View their featured vehicles online at www.5valleyautosales.com or stop by their location at 3300 South Reserve Street in Missoula. Five Valley Auto Sales is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on MPSN. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Bottom of the fourth. Mavericks lead. The Great Falls Chargers 2-1. to one. Off a Dane Frazier single. In the top of the fourth. Dylan Chalmers on the five Valley Eater, five, five Valley Auto pitchers, man. I'll spit it out. It's Travis Stouter to lead off. As he'll bring up ball one. Here's a pop right out into the gap. Frazier's got to chase it down almost to the warning track. The throw is made and it's a stand up double for Stouter to start the inning. So a hit by the Chargers to lead off the inning. Dylan Chalmers on the five Valley Auto Pitchers mount. And it will be Tyler Marr at the plate with well, no outs and a runner at second. Foul ball. Brings up strike one. For Tyler Marr, it was a fly out his first at bat. Braden Hurst in the on deck circle for the Chargers. Here's the 0 1 by Chalmers. Bunt showing and laid off. Ball's going to get away from Clausen. Runner will advance to third off the wild pitch and we'll have 1 and 1 on the count. One and one. Pitch on the way. And it'll bring up a ball two. Two and one. So Dylan Chalmers, a 2019 graduate of Sentinel High School, 6'1", 190 pound right handed pitcher. And pitching is his service as this one swung on for strike two, two and two. He's been the ace for the Mavericks the last two seasons. Was part of that team that went to the Northwest Regional Championship game against the Lewis and Clark Twins. So gained some good experience that season with people like Nick Jovatic, Dylan Barkley, Ryan McHugh as we'll go to a full count at three and two. But before that, he had two years experience with the Laramie Rangers. Here's a bouncer foul. Keeps this full. At three and two. No outs and a runner at third. Bottom of the fourth, Mavericks lead 2-1 on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. Here's a walk to put runners on the corners and no outs for the Chargers. So we go to Braden Hurst, the pitcher for the Chargers with runners at first and third and no outs. And it looks like Parker Stevens and Stuart Long are on their way out to the bullpen for the Mavericks. Stevens with the mask on, so it looks like Stuart Long will be warming up. Here's a swing to bring up strike one to Braden Hurst. Here's the pitch by Chalmers. And a swing. 
Brings up strike two, 0 oh and two. Chalmers, a Dodgers fan. I have yet to have him show me any magic tricks. He has on here his hobbies, magic tricks and hiking. As we go to ball one, one and two. To Hurst, Hurst dropped third strike out. As he'll swing and this one will be strike three. And we have one out in the bottom of the fourth. We go to Keaton Clark for the Chargers. One out, runners on the corners. And Stuart Long getting his arm ready. Pitch outside brings up ball one. <laughs> Here's the pitch over the plate. Brings up strike one. One and one on the count. Just like clockwork. The voice of Summer chiming in for me. 328 left field. 335 to right field. It's 368 in both power alleys. So thank you very much, Mr. Yarbrough. As a foul ball will bring up strike two. Chalmers now one and two, one out. We'll runners on first and third, and we'll go to a full count at two and two. Chalmers at 55 pitches, 35 of them over the plate, and three and a third innings. And we'll build to a full count at three and two. A swing, it bounces into right field. The runner will score from third and it's now tied at two apiece on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard with one out here in the bottom of the fourth. We come to the bottom of the order for the Chargers. Logan Houston. Runners at first and second. One out. Bottom of the fourth. Stuart Long warming up. And now the Chargers with an arm up in the bullpen. Here's a pop into center field. And Richardson cannot get to it. Here's the throw down the line to second. And the force out. No. Bay cannot hold on to the ball. And it will be loaded bases. For the Chargers. We swing to the top of the order with one out and loaded bases for the Chargers. It is Cal Cromwell. Here's the pitch. Inside. Ball one. Batted ball down the foul line on first base side. Gets us even at one apiece on the count. <clears throat> so trying to look and see who is throwing in the bullpen for the Chargers. It's kind of in a spotty spot down there as Chalmers will deliver the one and one. And our umpire will say strike two, one and two. Here's the pitch, swung on, and this one's over the second baseman's head. One run will score as Hill bounces the ball off his glove. A throw to second is made, and the Chargers will take a two-run lead over the Mavericks.
Derek Spring. We come to Derek Spring for the Chargers. Leading four to two on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. One out. And a foul ball into the first base third base dugout will bring up strike one. Connor Daniels down there checking on Stuart Long. And Fox Weymouth warming up for the Chargers in the bullpen as this one's fouled off the opposite direction for strike two. So both bullpens with action going on here in the fourth. Three runs earned, and it looks like Stuart Long's going to make his way to the dugout for the Mavericks. Pitch upstairs brings up ball one to Derek Spring. Spring with a ground out and a strikeout swinging. A foul ball popped up over the third base dugout. Gets us. Leaves us at one and two. One out. Runners at first and second. Three runs earned for the Chargers here in the bottom of the fourth to take a four to two lead on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. This one's bounced over the head of Chalmers. They'll bring the run around from second. The throw is made. Quasson will have the ball. The tag is not in time. And a run will score from second. And the Chargers continue to add runs on. Here in the fourth. We come to Andrew Paradise with one out. Runners at first and second. Here's the pitch by Chalmers. It's off the toe of Claussen. Claussen hesitates. It allows the runners to advance to second and third. And a pitch over the plate. Brings up strike one. One and one on the count. to Andrew Paradise, a fly out and a single for Paradise. He's got runners at second and third with one out. This one's popped out to Hill in center field. Hill will have it in the glove. Runner at third will tag. The throw is made to third and the Chargers will score a run off the sack fly to put two outs on the board. And it's now six to two on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. First pitch to Josh Lowry is over the plate for strike one. Two outs, runner at second. Bottom of the fourth. Here's a bouncing ball down the third base line to bring up strike two. Foul bouncer. Mavericks coming off a loss to the Helena Senators on Wednesday night. Here's a shot into center field. Hill puts it in the glove. That will end the inning. Six runs earned for the Chargers to take a four run or six runs scored for the Chargers to take a four run lead. Top of the fifth right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. MPSN is back to live stream the Montana Legion Baseball AA and State A tournaments this summer. Join us live from Billings, Montana for the State AA tournament and Florence, Montana for the State A tournaments July 27th through the 31st for all the play-by-play -play action of every game. If you know of a local business in your community that would like to sponsor the coverage of the games on MPSN, please send us an email. MPSN. 
Legion Baseball's home for the 2019 Montana State Legion Baseball Tournament. Warning! Warning! Fast Trip Conoco and Magic Touch Car Wash are at it again. They've taken what was already the best wash in town, the best value in town, and made it even better. Now, whenever you gas up your rig at Fast Trip Conoco, you can clean it up for half price. Yeah, you heard that right. When you fuel up your car at Fast Trip Conoco, you can get any wash at Magic Touch Car Wash for half price. Warning! Warning! This is not a drill. It's the Gas It Up, Clean It Up special at Fast Trip Conoco and Magic Touch Car Wash on reserve across from Larchmont. Half price wash only valid when purchased at the pump or in Fast Trip Conoco. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Networks. The Shadows trying to take over the field here at Century Field. Missoula Mavericks, Great Falls Chargers. Chargers taking the lead 6-2 in the bottom of the four. So for the Mavericks, it's the four, five, six batters. Bridger Johnson on deck. Stuart, or Bridger Johnson at the plate. Stuart Long on deck and Drew Stensrud in the hole. Braden Hurst will continue on the five Valor pitchers, pitchers mound as this one's popped shallow over first base. Second baseman calls off the first baseman and puts it in the glove. And there's one away on the pop fly. Brings up Stuart Long for the Mavericks. We saw Stuart in the bullpen warming up. Long lays off the first pitch for a ball. 1-0. Hurst at 79 pitches as Long will bounce this one to the third baseman. Throw to first and we've got two outs off the ground ball. We come to Stensrud, Drew Stensrud, the third baseman for the Mavericks. Here's the pitch by Hurst. And it'll be inside on Stensrud for ball one. For Stensrud, a walk and a ground out on the game. Stensrud with a slice for strike one, one and one on the count. Andrew Claussen in the on deck circle, two outs, nobody on. Here's the one and one by Hurst. And it'll take us to ball two, two and one. Maverick searching for runs. Down six, two on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. And we'll get ball three now to Stens. Three and one. Mavericks back in action tomorrow with a doubleheader against Great Falls. And Stensrud will hop this one at the dugout down the third baseline. And the Maverick players standing in the well have to hop out of the way. Full count at three and two. First now with the payoff pitch. And Stensrud pops this one out of play foul. And we stay at three and two. Here's the pitch. And another bouncing ball foul. Stensrud continues to battle at three and two. Two outs, nobody on. Top of the fifth. <laughs> Stensrud does get this one to bounce in play. Third baseman will have the throw to first, and that is one, two, three for the Mavericks. Bottom of the fifth right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. 
your computer go down? Don't worry. Mike's Print and Copy has computer rentals available until you can get your computer replaced. In addition to computer rentals, Mike's has self-serve copiers so you can take care of your printing needs at your time. Do you have large-scale printing that needs to be done? From high-tech blueprints to large quantities, Mike's Print and Copy is your print store. Stop in and say hi to Mike at their new location at 1605 South Avenue West in Missoula. Mike's Print and Copy, proud sponsors of the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Do you have a property you'd like to sell? Maybe you're looking for a new place to call your own. Well, you're in luck because the Kelly Touch is the local realtor for you. Whether small or large, the Kelly Touch would love to help you find your piece of Montana to call home. From Kalispell to Florence, the Kelly Touch has the experience to help you buy or sell property throughout western Montana. The Kelly Touch, your professional real estate needs met. The Kelly Touch is a proud sponsor of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Welcome back to MPS and Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network. As we come to the bottom of the fifth inning, Great Falls Chargers leading the Missoula Mavericks 6 to 2 on the Fast Trip Conical scoreboard. It is the 5 6 7 batter scheduled on the inning. Travis Stouter. And the first pitch by Dylan Chalmers from the five Valley Auto Pitchers mound will be ball one. A crack into center field and Hill not able to get to it. It'll bounce. Runner will grab a gear and on his way to second as Richardson Bay will be there. And the Chargers will have back-to-back -back doubles to lead off innings. Tyler Marr now. For the Chargers, runner at second, no outs. Chalmers at 75 pitches as this one's bounced foul to bring up strike one. For Marr, a fly out and a walk. And they're sending Looks like T Ray is going down to the bullpen. Thomas Martin for the Mavericks now. Here's a bouncer out to Bay. Bay will have the hop, the throw to first, and one away. Runner advances to third. One away for the Chargers with a runner at third as Braden Hurst comes to the plate. So Thomas Martin now in the bullpen warming up as Chalmers will deliver over the plate for strike one. 0 and 1 for Hurst. It's a drop third strike and he was struck out swinging. And Chalmers will have the throw to third. And here's the stretch and set by Chalmers. And it's delivered for ball one, one and one on the count. One out. The catcher in the on-deck circle for the Chargers. So we've seen Stuart Long in the bullpen for the Mavericks. And now, as this bunt is into Claussen, and it'll bring up strike two on the foul. And Thomas Martin warming up. Weymouth continuing in the Chargers. He was down while the Chargers were bat or were up. And it's a strikeout for the second out of the inning. Dilly Dilly. This time the batter is staring at the ball go away, going by. So we go to Keaton Clark for the Chargers. 
two outs, runner at third. First pitch by Chalmers. Bring up ball one. Ball two, two and oh. So Coach Hathaway going to his many arms and coming out with Thomas Martin as we get ball three, three and oh. To Keaton Clark. Clark dropped third strike in a single. As Chalmers delivers over the plate for strike one. And a walk to put runners on the corners. Two outs as Thomas Martin makes his way back to the bullpen or to the dugout for the Mavericks. He was warmed up by none other than Parker Stevens. Bottom of the order for the Chargers, Logan Houston. Runners on the corners and two outs. Bottom of the fifth. Chargers lead six to two on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. And a ball off Clausen's glove will bring the runner home from third. And the Chargers will add a run. Houston, 1-0 on the count. Chalmers with the pitch. And it'll come inside. Brings up ball two, 2-0. Two and oh. For Houston, a drop third strike and a single. 1-2 and two on the day. This one's bounced out. Richardson is going to get there. He'll have the throw. He'll double clutch and no throw is made. As the runner will dive back in and that will have... Runners on the corners. Once again for the Chargers and two outs. Runners at first and third as the top of the order. Cal Cromwell comes to the plate for the Chargers. Chalmers now with the stretch and set. He'll throw his 90th pitch. It'll be fouled off. 90 pitches, 58 over the plate. Here's the pitch and a swing. This one's off of Clausen once again. Foul ball brings up strike two. 0 oh 2. Here's the pitch. Runner's going to go at first. Upstairs. Clausen will let him go, and we'll have ball one. So Houston stands at second now off the stolen base. Keaton Clark is at third. Here's the one and two. A roller out to Richardson. He'll have the bounce, and the runner will reach off the air with a run scored for the Chargers and that first error for the Mavericks has been put up on the board. Puts runners on the corners with two outs. Derek Spring at the plate. Here's the pitch by Chalmers outside for a ball. Upstairs, brings up ball two, two and oh. So we've seen two arms in for the Mavericks. How long Hathaway will let him go? 95 pitches right now if he'll push him all the way to the pitch limit. 
as a hesitation and then a strike call two and one two outs I'm going to put those two runs on the scoreboard for the Chargers. Here's a pop into center field. Hill with a little hop and a skip in the glove, and the inning is over. Two runs earned for the Chargers, and it's now 8-2. to two. Mavericks have the top of the six right after this on the Missoula Cup Sports Network. Hello, folks. Chris Stratton here. You know me as the voice of high school sports on the Missoula Cup Sports Network. I'm here to announce that the Milk Crate Media will be launching their newest project, the Chris Stratton Show podcast. That's right, folks. We're going to take our play-by-play -play coverage and bring it into the studio to give our student athletes in Missoula a voice to tell their stories. It'll be launching on July 15th on the Milk Crate Media Network, and you'll be able to find it at thechrisstrattonshow.com as well as any of your outlets for podcasts. Advertising on the web can be intimidating. Where do you start? What is the most effective way to reach the audience you are targeting? Milk Crate Media can help you reach your audience whether it is social media marketing or creating a unique commercial for streaming or for radio advertising. Milk Crate Media can help you build a new website or rebuild your existing website that will bring users back again and again. Visit www.mcratemedia.com today. Milk Crate Media is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports in Missoula and the surrounding valley. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Top of the sixth inning. Takes us to the bottom of the order for the Mavericks. Seven, eight, nine batters. Andrew Claussen at the plate. Zach Hengis on deck and Dayton Bay in the hole. Braden Hurst will come out for his sixth inning of duty on the five Valley Outer pitchers mound. So Claussen is ready for the first pitch of the inning. And he'll hit this one into left field. Left fielder puts it in the glove. One pitch, one out to start the sixth. Takes us to the first baseman, Zach Hangus for the Mavericks. One out, nobody on. Chargers leading the Mavericks six or eight to two on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard as Hurst will deliver. Ball one. Braden Hurst with 90 pitches, 47 of them over the plate. Angus with a foul ball. Takes us to one and one on the count. Bottom of the order in the on deck circle for the Mavericks. Here's the pitch by Hurst. Angus with a pop foul. It's going to come down against the fencing and we'll have one and two on the count to Hango. So Hurst will step back on the rubber and here's the one and two. We'll get ball two to Hangus. So for Hangus on the game, he's got a fly out and a sack bunt. And a pitch upstairs will deliver ball three. Full count at three and two. First with the pitch. And Hangus will be struck out for the second out of the inning. And Clausen, I mean Hangus, thought he had the base, tossed the bat, and our umpire says three. So that takes us to the bottom of the order. Dayton Bay for the Mavericks. Two outs, nobody on, top of the sixth. Here's the pitch. And... Bay showing bunt, pulls it back, and we'll have strike one on the call. Here's the pitch. Ball one, one and one. <clears throat> Pitch 
Pitch on the way. And that one will tag Bay. So Dayton Bay will get on off of the hit by pitch. And will swing to the top of the order for the Mavericks with two outs, Brendan Hill. And through the end of July, or the end of June, I should say, the Mavericks bottom of the order bringing home the top of the order, the top of the order getting on, and then the bottom of the order with hits and RBIs. And Hill will hesitate, brings up ball one. Possible stolen base there with Clark looking for it, but Bay staying at first. For Hill, a single and back-to-back -back walks. He'll take this pitch for strike one, one and one. Two outs, top of the sixth, runner at first, Dayton Bay. Here's the pitch, and it'll bring up a ball two, two and one to Hill. Hurst with a stretch and set. And a bouncing ball foul will bring up strike two, and we go two and two on the count. Looks like they continue to work Weymouth in the bullpen. He's up throwing when the Chargers are up defensively. Comes back when they bat. Two outs, Bay at first. Here's the two and two. And Hill will roll this one, picked up by the second baseman. The throw to first is made just ahead of Hill, and that will be the inning. Dayton Bay loads up, but he's left behind, and it's the bottom of the six right after this on the Missoula Cup Sports Network. MPSN is back to live stream the Montana Legion Baseball AA and State A tournaments this summer. Join us live from Billings, Montana for the State AA Tournament and Florence, Montana for the State A Tournaments, July 27th through the 31st for all the play-by-play -play action of every game. If you know of a local business in your community that would like to sponsor the coverage of the games on MPSN, please send us an email. MPSN, Legion Baseball's home for the 2019 Montana State Legion Baseball Tournaments. Hey, are you gonna try out that new gym? I hear it's really cheap. Not a chance. They don't have group exercise classes with awesome instructors like we get at Fuel. And the owners are in New York City. What? New York City! Mm-hmm. The New York way is not the Montana way, so no way. Fuel Fitness and Nutrition, your Montana born and bred fitness chain. And unlike the others, we never close. Welcome back to MPS and Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Bottom of the sixth inning brings out a fresh face to the five Valley Auto Pitchers mound. That would be Thomas Martin for the Missoula Mavericks. So dilly dilly done on the day. For Dylan Chalmers, it'd be five innings pitch, 97 pitches, 35 over the or 62 over the plate. Eight runs, six of them earned off of nine hits. Struck out six, walked three, and did not hit any batters. Finishes with an 8.40 ERA on the game. For the Chargers, it's the three, four, five batters. Andrew Paradise to lead off. Josh Lowry on deck and Travis Stouter in the hole. So T-Ray on the five Valley Auto Pitchers mound for the Mavericks as Andrew Paradise comes to the plate. Thomas Martin, he was a gun for the Mavericks last year. We have seen him in limited action this year. Let's go ahead and pull up Thomas Martin's pitching stats for 2019. And the first pitch tossed in will be ball one to Paradise. So for Thomas Martin, it's a total of four games, four innings played. 
as this one's bounced out. Richardson on the run, and Richardson cannot put it in the glove. Runner will reach off of the Trad, Air, Trad Richardson air. So three consecutive innings. The Chargers have had runners at first to lead off. So back to Martin, four games, four innings. Five runs off of six hits, or six runs off of five hits. Five of those runs earned. He has walked four, struck out five, as we have ball one into Josh Lowry. Pitcher over the plate will bring up strike one. One and one. Shadows overtaking the infield here at Century Field. As an outside pitch will bring up ball two. Two and one on the count to Lowry. Lowry with a ground out and back-to-back -back line drives four outs. Foul ball. Takes us even at two apiece on the count. Mavericks earned one run in the second and one run in the fourth for their two runs off of three hits. Outside pitch brings us to a full count at three and two. Lowry thought about reaching for it, but brought it back in. For the Chargers, it'd be one run in the third, five runs in the fourth, and two in the fifth for their eight runs off of nine hits. This one's over the top of Bay's head. It will bounce. Hill will have the pickup on it. And runners at first and second with no outs. That will take us to Travis Stouter, the third baseman. Actually, Stouter's over at first. He and Marr swapping bases back in the third inning. And this one's taken into right field. Frazier is back there, puts it in the glove. The runner at second will tag. The throw is made, and Stensrud will have it. So the sack fly brings out the first out and advances the runner from second to third. Tyler Marr now. for the Chargers. And Marr is gonna take a moment and check in with his coach. And the umpire will take a moment to restock baseballs. So Tyler Marr now at first. Settles in. One out, runners at first and third. Runner is gonna go, Claussen will have the throw. Pitch was a strike. Bay blocks it in front of him and will have a stolen base. Runners at second and third. 0-1-1 on the count to Marr. For Marr, a fly out, a walk, and a ground out on the game. And T. Ray will deliver over the plate for strike two. <clears throat> and it's three. Marr struck out looking. With two outs, we go to Braden Hurst for the Chargers. And the first pitch to Hurst will be ball one. Martin with the pitch. 
and we'll have ball two. Two and oh. This one's bounced out. Richardson cannot get to it. It's going to go into center field. Runner from third will score. Runner from second grabs a gear on his way home. And Hurst will make his way to second. And the Chargers score two runs in the bottom of the six to make it 10-0. Chargers on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. Two outs. We come to Keaton Clark now with two outs. First pitch to Clark is a ball for Clark. Drop third strike, a single and a walk on his game. He's got a runner at second in Hurst. Two outs on the board. Here's a batted ball down the first baseline. It'll be fouling out of the reach of Frazier. And we'll have strike one, one and one. Bottom of the sixth. Chargers trying to put a loss on back to back for the Mavericks. Martin's pitch will be fouled down the same line, almost identical to the last foul ball by Clark. Makes it one and two on the count. Two outs. Hurst at second. Bottom of the order in the on deck circle. Here's Martin with the pitch and another foul ball. Looks like Clark wants to take this ball down the first base line. Or maybe Martin is just directing traffic. Here's the one and two. This one's banged back down. That third base line, we stay at one and two. Two outs and Hurst at second. Houston in the on deck circle. Martin with the pitch. Brings up ball two, two and two. Mavericks will have the top of their order in the top of the seventh, and it's a strikeout to end the side. So, two runs scored, and it's 10 to 2. Chargers, Mavericks have all or nothing coming up in the top of the seventh. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Coming this summer, Milk Crate Media 406 will be the home to a new group of local podcasts to highlight our great state of Montana and the people within it starting with a local show to promote Missoula sports athletes. Next, a podcast that will take a look at world views. Then a show that will entertain you while informing you about Montana's great outdoors. And finally, a podcast that will take a look at the people and places that make Montana great. Stop by mcratemedia.com to see the full line of new podcasts. Have you recently found yourself in a situation where you need a lawyer? Give our friends at Tip Coburn & Associates a call today. They have been practicing injury, employment, and criminal defense in addition to other areas of law for the past 55 years. Give Tip Coburn & Associates a call today at 406-549-5186 or stop by their website at www.tipcoburnandassociates.com. Tip Coburn & Associates, lawyers fighting for Montana since 1959 and proud sponsors of Missoula Prep Sports on MPSN. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network. We've got a new face on the mound for the Great Falls Chargers as Fox Weymouth comes to the five Valley Auto Pitchers mound. The Mavericks needing eight runs to tie it up here in the top of the seventh. They're down 10 to two on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. 
So for Braden Hurst, it would be six innings, 103 pitches, 54 over the plate. Two runs, both of them earned off of three hits. Struck out two, walked three, and hit three. Finished with a 2.33 ERA on the game. For the Mavericks, it's the two, three, four batters here in the final frame of the game. Dane Frazier to lead off. Trad Richardson is on deck and Bridger Johnson in the hole. Up first for the Mavericks, number seven, right fielder, Dane Frazier. So Dane Frazier steps to the plate and Weymouth will face the home run hitter in the top of the seventh. Pitch upstairs will bring us to ball one. So for Frazier, Back-to-back -back flyouts and a single. Here's Frazier with a rocket into left field. It's got lots of leg on it. It is back, and it is off the back of the off the wall. Frazier will stand up at second, and the Mavericks will have a stand-up double. Richardson. Takes us to Trad Richardson for the Mavericks. That one about six inches from popping over the wall for Frazier. Here's Richardson. And Richardson will take the first pitch for strike one. Cooling down here in Great Falls as the sun is heading over the western horizon. Shadows long on the infield as well as the outfield. Frazier at second. Richardson lets it go by and we're one and one on the count. Frazier Johnson in the on deck circle. Frazier at second and Richardson will lift this one shallow into center field. Center fielder will come up. Puts it in the glove. Fraser will hold at second. And we have one away in the top of the seventh. Brings up Bridger Johnson for the Mavericks. One out, one on, top of seven. Mavericks staring down their second loss in a row on the conference level as Johnson will take ball one. For Bridger Johnson, a ground out, a sack bunt, and a fly out on the game. Two more tomorrow, folks. First pitch is at one from Century Field. Johnson lets it go, and we'll have ball two. Oh, and two on the count. Here's the stretch and set by Weymouth and Johnson with the commitment on the swing brings up strike one two and one the stretch and set by Weymouth and it'll bring up ball three so Bridger Johnson being patient at the plate here in the seventh Johnson leads or third in the team with walks with 41. And that will be 42. So the Mavericks will have runners at first and second with one out as Stuart Long comes up. One out. We saw Long in the bullpen warming up early, but then the switch to T Ray. And the pitch off of the knee will advance runners to second and third. One and zero on the count to Stewie. And he'll take ball two. 
<clears throat> so Stuart Long, a ground out, a strikeout, and a ground out on the game. And pitch will bring up strike one, two and one to Stuart Long. Mavericks back on home, back at home on Monday. <clears throat> Long, and they're going to say a foul ball, and we're two and two. Fraser at third and Johnson at second. And Weymouth will make it a full count with the outside pitch at three and two. Here's the stretch and set. And Long will be struck out swinging for the second out of the seventh. Takes us to Drew Stensrud with two outs and runners at second and third for the Mavericks. Here's the pitch. Inside to Stensrud for ball one. For Drew Stensrud. A walk and back-to-back -back ground outs. Mavericks one out away from back-to-back -back losses. And we'll get ball two. 2-0 two oh for Stensrud. Weymouth with the stretch and set. And a pitch over the plate will bring up strike one to Stens. Two and one. Pitch on the way. Stens Rude cracks this one in between the legs of the pitcher. A throw to first and the runner will reach. Fraser scores for the Mavericks. And we'll see if they're going to call that an error or a hit for the Mavericks. They will say an error. On the Chargers side, and the Mavericks make it 10 to 3 on the Fast Trip Conical scoreboard. In the batter's box is the catcher number 14, Andrew Lawson. Awesome. Batter's box number 14. Brings up Andrew Clausen for the Mavericks, and the first pitch to Clausen's over the plate for strike one. Bridger Johnson standing at third with two outs. Stensrud at first. Here's the 0-1. And Klaassen, a line drive into the glove of the second baseman will end the game. The Chargers get a win over the number one Mavericks. 10-3. It'll be... Three runs off of four hits, two errors, and 10 runners left behind for the Mavericks for the Chargers. 10 runs off 11 hits, two errors, and seven runners left on. The Mavericks and the Chargers doubleheader tomorrow as we have first pitch at 1 o'clock. We'll talk to you folks at 1 o'clock tomorrow. Have a great rest of your Friday evening. Good night, folks. Thank you for tuning in to this presentation of Missoula Sports. What a rush! MPSN's coverage of Missoula Sports is proudly powered by Fuel Fitness. Always, always, always. Tune in next time when the Missoula Prep Sports Network has coverage of your local sports heroes. Whee!